this aquarium in front of me used to be the one of the most beautiful aquarium in the new ripples gallery it is a niagomi layout with round black volcanic rock with grass showing you can see the eighth sea beautiful purling but then suddenly something has happened and now if you look at the aquarium it is filled with black brush algae it is filled with fuzz algae so what actually happened and that's the thing that we are going to answer in this video there are many videos in the internet you know which talks about black beard algae but actually i have seen that very few actually tries to understand how water flow affects black beard algae and fuzz algae and that is what i thought that i am going to answer in this video so let's dive in we are trying to find out the reasons why this beautiful aquarium suddenly has so much of bba and fuzz algae answer my friends i believe lies in the water flow in the aquarium this aquarium has got two filters one adaes 900 another adaes you know 600 filter combined it's about 1000 liter per hour of flow so there is a lot of flow in the tank there is pressurized co2 but as it says that even if you have the best of the equipments unless they are used properly okay and that's what we are going to examine here you know it might lead to algae while explaining the problem i'm going to delve into a little bit of physics friends my physics knowledge is definitely rusty so when i try to describe laminar flow when i try to talk about water viscosity when i try try to talk about the boundary layers okay uh these are these are all my hypotheses friends i'm not trying to actually you know prove anything i'm just trying to connect the dots give you certain facts and figures so as i said at the first glance everything is perfect right good filter co2 light everything is okay but let's you know try and understand what are the issues so first issue one of the filters outflow is here water is coming out and is hitting the inflow of the second filter just there so basically what is happening a straight column of water is going there and hitting and going inside okay there is not there is just a straight parallel movement so what is happening is that the co2 diffuser which is just here right the co2 diffuser is just here and as you can see because the water column is hitting this here straight there is not much of a movement that is happening there there is not much of the movement the co2 is not actually getting mixed well in fact it is like a vertical column of gas which is just coming out you can see this right you can see right co2 is just coming out straight up and there is not much of mixing that is happening here so obviously as a result my guess there is a co2 imbalance that is happening in this tank the light is coming out okay co2 mixing is taking time okay high light and because of the co2 imbalance bba and the other algae might be coming we have put in a drop checker just to see how fast you know the co2 is going to is actually getting mixed but my guess this is one of the reason improper co2 mixing because of incorrect flow that is the first reason second reason as i said a straight column of water is going here there is the outflow of the second filter there now if you look at this zone there is practically no movement happening there is no water movement okay you can see the grass moving on this side okay the top swaying right quite a movement this place there is no movement so obviously if there is no movement there is a nutrient concentration that is happening here and because of there is no movement obviously co2 enriched air is not co2 enriched water is not getting into this region and you see a lot of black brush algae here let's look at other places also you can see the grass here you can see the grass here and there are patches of ricardia this places this places this is a patch of ricardia this is another patch of ricardia this is another patch of ricardia but the tall grasses are blocking the flow there is not much of water movement that is happening here so because there is no water movement obviously co2 is not coming and you can see these patches completely filled with fuzz algae so because the trimming has not happened properly on a regular basis grass has grown tall it is blocking the flow there are you know there are patches of um, dead spots as we call it is happening there and because of the dead spots no co2 hence algae this is the second reason
So before I get into the next point, let me explain certain concepts of fluid mechanics here. Little, little bit of physics. But pardon me if I am all over the place because I am doing this after quite some time. My knowledge is completely rusty. See what happens when water is coming out and any fluid for that matter and when it hits a solid surface, the speed of water reduces. So as the water is moving towards the solid surface or over the solid surface, the layer which is in connection with the solid surface, actually the speed reduces, it becomes almost zero. As the speed reduces, there is something called a boundary layer that forms here, right? And um, in this boundary layer, basically the speed of water is zero and hence there is no mixing. And because there is no mixing, there is no gas diffusion that is happening. This kind of thing is called laminar flow of water, okay? And this laminar flow of water where water is moving in layers, straight layers, okay, and without any turbulence, this phenomena increases with decrease of water temperature. As water temperature grows down, water becomes more viscous, more solid. It is not moving freely. So let me, let me try and explain this with a little bit of honey. I got some honey here. So I'm trying to pour some honey. If you look at it, the honey flow is very thick. It is not moving very or it's not flowing very slowly. So as water temperature decreases, water actually becomes like honey. It doesn't move easily. So what happens? Here if you see this glass, there is water and there is honey and there is clear separation. That's exactly what happens. So the water, if you imagine here, it is of high viscosity water, which is the honey and there is water above. They are not mixing each other and there are two distinct layers. And unless there is turbulence like this, right, the two, that is the honey and the water will never mix. And exactly that is what is happening here. I'll show you where. If you look at this part of the aquarium, the water is coming here from this filter and it is hitting this grass. And because there is no trimming that has happened, this glass is actually acting as a wall. It is almost as a solid wall. So my guess is that once water is hitting this grass wall, its speed is actually decreasing. Water is coming out. Even if CO2 is coming out, because there is no movement practically, and I, show, I showed you about the viscosity, the two layers doesn't mix, there is no gas diffusion that is happening in this place. Okay. And hence, even though there is you know, CO2 in the tank, this area is not receiving much of CO2, gas exchange is not happening, and black brush algae is coming here. Physicists out there, who, whomsoever is seeing the video, can add to this theory, and, and please give your comment below. But I, my guess is that this is one of the reasons. Otherwise, there is too much CO2, there is good light. In patches, why BBA is coming? Definitely flow is one of the reasons. Let me give you another example. Water is coming out of this filter and this place is a solid rock, right? And maybe the water is moving here, even though there is very less movement, there is a complete boundary layer that must be forming in this Ricardia patches. Everywhere where there is a Ricardia, the, whenever water is trying to flow from here, the speed is decreasing. And because the speed is decreasing, even if there is CO2 in that water portion here, it is not going to the plant, it is not diffusing and fuzz algae is coming here. Black brush is also coming here. The other reason is, you know, the last reason that, uh, for that matter, is that, uh, and that's common for any algae. If your plant is not strong, algae will come. What also has happened in this aquarium is that, we are only, uh, for some reason, we are only giving it potassium and micronutrients. Uh, this tank is almost six months old. We should have started uh, dosing nitrogen and iron. For some reason that has not happened and in certain patches, the grass if you look like here, this side, this side, the grass is actually almost yellow. So that means the, the plant has actually become weak. You have not fed them properly. And because the plant is weak, algae being an opportunistic actually is coming in full force. So uh, friends, you know, you know, I talked about the flow causing a problem. Uh, but if your plant is weak, even though everything is all right, algae will definitely come. So please remember that to feed your plant properly, make the plant stronger. If your plant is strong, algae will not come.
I explained like you know the reasons why I believe black brush algae and fuzz algae has come in this aquarium. But can we leave this beauty to this shape? Absolutely not. So we have to take some action. The first step is that we have already released some Siamese alligator in this aquarium. And as you might be knowing, Siamese alligators are one of the best known fishes to eat black brush algae. But then there is so much of algae in this tank, you know, uh, how much can a poor fish shake? So obviously that cannot be the only step, we are going to take the other step. The other step is, you know, we are going to do a very thorough trimming. We are going to take out all the grass which is having algae. We will do a good trimming of this aquarium, okay? Take out the algae. And that brings us to the third step. The third step is that we are going to use a product called ADA Phyton Gate Plus. Uh, this product from ADA, it has got something called Phyton Science. It's a chemical. It's a chemical derived from some organic source. And what this Phyton Gate Plus actually does is that it kills the BBA spores. So after we have done the thorough trimming, we'll put the Phyton Gate Plus. I am hopeful that it will help in cleaning and killing the BBA spores over two, three days. And as it does, the aquarium is slowly going to spring back to life, okay? And I'm going to show the result, uh, you know, in the, in the upcoming part, right? Um, that's all, my friend. I tried to explain uh, why BBA and fuzz algae might, be, might have come in this aquarium. And as I always request, if you like our content, please do subscribe to our channel, Ripple's Nature Inspired Aquarium, and hit the bell icon so that you do not miss any notification for any new video that comes up in the channel. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for watching.